Well, I just got my Wii U set up through the one and only HDMI port on my television. I got fooling around with this stuff and noticed that um, my TV does have a SPDIF output, which means, and I got online reading, this is a 32 inch Westinghouse LTV model, um, oh crap, I forget the model number, LTV 32W6HD, I think, but anyway, uh, I was concerned about trying to get surround sound out of my uh, Wii U because I've got like a 2006 Pioneer surround sound system and a 2006 era HDTV, so I really didn't think it would work. But I got online reading and it seems this TV does allow for audio to pass through the HDMI, which maybe all HDMI connectors do. I don't really know inputs, but uh, lo and behold, it works. The audio is way better. I did have my PS3 hooked up through the uh, HDMI, but I hooked it up using component cables now. And the image on it looks great, and I'm using the optical out of it into my stereo. Um, I ordered a VGA cable for my Xbox 360, which I'm going to change it from component to VGA. Uh, supposed to be able to actually get 768 from VGA on this 7 uh, on this TV uh, instead of 720 but uh, now I'm gonna hook a GameCube up which I've got a set of component cables since the Wii U don't play GameCube games uh, I'm gonna hook my GameCube up to the other free set of audio uh, component cables uh, so that should really really look good of most of the games on the GameCube. I think it said all first party games support 480p. Uh, so they, games like Mario Sunshine should look, you know, a lot better on this versus my old 32 inch CRT TV. So I'm gonna put it under the GameCube and then I'll be able to play my Game Boy games in higher resolution as well. They say they work too, it upscales them. The actual component cable for the GameCube does. That is why um, they can bring up upwards to eighty dollars I actually got some kind of decoder chip built right into the cable but uh um, that's the whole reason behind all this plus I wanted to get the better sound out of the Wii U actual surround sound and since you can't hook both cables up at once you have to get your audio from either uh, using a component cable which has got stereo outputs or HDMI which carries the audio in, in a surround sound form so that's what that's what I opted for here and I'm thankful to say it works I'm just the only cable I could find to reach was actually a um, regular video cable the yellow video cable was the longest one I had and it's got not got much shielding or anything but uh, they say it works and it, it is working sounds good to me so I probably won't fool with that anymore unless I may I may try to order me a regular coaxial audio cable, which has basically got more shielding and stuff. But I don't know. Sounds good to me right now.